Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today, I'm going to call this a retro uh, book review. I'm going to put this with my retro book review series because I read this before ages ago um, and I just decided to jump back into it because I found a copy super cheap at uh, Second and Charles. But today we're talking about Ravenous by Ray Garten. Uh, right up front, I've been a longtime fan of Ray Garden ever since he was uh, he was publishing with Leisure Press, um, and I have a, the majority of his books. I still need to find the sequel to this one, Bestial, um, and Nightlife. I remember it being one of the good vampire books that I've read, um, but I'd have to not Nightlife, uh, Live Girls. I, I'd have to reread it again, um, but I have both of them. I have Live Girls and I have Nightlife. Uh, Ray is a very stripped down. He's almost Richard Lehman, but with a little more. I wouldn't say, I don't know, literary flair. He goes a little deeper into his descriptions and his the thoughts of his characters and things like that. And while there is a ton of sex in this book, and rape, a ton of sex and rape, so it's going to get it's going to get compared to Layman just, just because it has a ton of sex and rape in it. Um, but we're going to get to why the rape is purposeful. That's important. The rape in Layman's books tend to be just, you know, just thrown in there because it's disturbing. Um, the, the, this one, it's more, it's more, it's less stripped down than Richard Lehman's, um, it doesn't read quite as quick, but it does read as quick as, say, a Bentley Little. Um, there, there's far more, I don't want to say it's bricks of text, but there's far more big paragraphs than there are smaller paragraphs, and with a Lehman story, you're going to get much more, uh, quick, punchy sentences and paragraphs than you are in this one. I said all that to say this. I enjoy Ray's stuff. I still to this day enjoy Ray's stuff, whereas I don't really care too much for Layman's anymore. Um, in this one, uh, the rape is purposeful because the this is a slight spoiler, so if you don't want any spoilers at all, um, maybe scrub ahead 30 seconds. So spoilers in 3, 2, 1. The uh, werewolf thing in here isn't... It, the virus is not spread with bites. It's spread with sex. So there's... There, there's loads and loads of rape. It, it just has to be done for this story to work. Um, but the... Okay, that's the end of the spoilers. Let's just jump back into the review. Uh, this one, I I won't say I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, it was very dark, very disturbing. Ray uh, Garten gives zero fucks about who he kills and how terribly they die. Um, I've always appreciated that about Ray stuff. Um, really, really good uh, deaths and maimings and gore and all that stuff. And there's purpose behind the violence, um, especially the end of this book. This book ends perfectly. It has one. Of, it has a perfect horror ending. Now I did struggle getting through this book, and I I don't know why. It took me over a month to read. No, actually, it took me almost a, a month. It, I started on the first of October. I think I ended it on the 24th. I'm not sure. Um, but uh, the the book, it, it there's action and stuff like that, but it, it felt very familiar to me, and I never wanted to pick it back up again. And that's probably because I read it before. Now, I was thinking as I was going through, what did I love about this book the first time that I read it? Because I didn't remember any of this stuff. I didn't even remember that the, uh, that the, the sex side of it. Um, I don't want to say the spoiler again, but the uh, I, I didn't remember any of that, and even though uh, the majority of the sex was horrific, I didn't care too much for those scenes. Um, the, the older I get, the less I care to read about rape or or sexual deviance or stuff, anything like that. Um, but the I there I don't know. There was just something that I, that made me think, why did I love this so much? And then I got to the last fifty pages, and I'm like, that's why I love this so much. Um, when I was younger. Now I'm only going to give it four, time, four stars this time because the beginning of the book is good, the ending of the book is good, but that middle section, not that it drags, but this, what, this book would have really, really shone, shone, whatever, shined, whatever. <laughs> um, the, this book would have been much better as a novella, I think. That's my, that's my only criticism that certain parts go on too long. There are some uh, some inner thoughts that don't gel with the characters. I think there are some forced uh, forced things for the plot to happen, um, but that's just that's just my opinion. Uh, you may disagree, but that that's that's all I really have for this one. Um, I I did enjoy it, um, especially the ending. The ending makes up for any other problems that I might have had because I love endings like this. I didn't expect it, even, even though I read it before. I completely forgot. 
I love it when that happens, when I can go back and reread an old favorite and it still be good and still be surprised like I was the first time. At least I might have been surprised. But this is one of those endings that if you've read the Edward Lorne books, um, the books I've written underneath this pen name, um, if you've read those, I think this is one of those books that pushed me toward what that author is known for, that work is known for, um, the, that, those types of endings. But have you read Ravenous? by Ray Garten. If you have, please let me know whether or not you loved it, liked it, hated it. Um, if you did love it or hate it, let me know why down there in the doobly-doo so we can have a discussion. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!